Thank you everyone for your kind attention this morning. This is the final segment for this morning where we cover on the three R's, which is very important for today's market, rates, recession, and region. So before I let you go for your first morning tea break, we just want to open up questions to the floor in case if there's anyone who wants to ask some questions. Okay, we have uh, the first question from a gentleman on the left. Yeah, thank you, Professor. Uh, just now, you spoke about region, right? Uh, we have multiple family properties, like uh, we have three properties in the RCR region. And uh, what's the best way to monetize moving forward? Thank you very much, sir. That's a very good question. In fact, one of my ex-students asked the exact same thing a few days ago. His family has four properties and they are thinking to upgrade their investment in terms of real estate. So I remember you said that you have three properties in the RCR region. Uh, right now, if you remember one of the charts that I showed earlier on, the price gap between RCR and CCR has been the closest in as many years. When I talk about the closest, it's less than $500 PSF between RCR and CCR. And in the past year or so, RCR properties have in fact uh, appreciated the most. So it's a good time for you to actually sell your RCR properties, redeploy that money and go right into the central region where you still get very good opportunities in terms of selection of condos. So how you can choose which property to sell, I would advise that out of your three RCR properties, you may want to look at one or two that may have not been giving you very good rental yield for the past years or the age is really getting old. So those could be the ones that you want to sell first and then quickly redeploy the money and go into the central core region now where the price is really very uh, good and it has not appreciated as fast as the RCR. So I hope that answers your question. And uh, just to understand the audience today, by a show of hands, since uh, we have a gentleman here, his family owns five properties. Amongst us, how many of you actually owe two or more properties. Can I just have see a show of hands? Thank you very much. I can see here more than 90% of you actually own more than two properties. I guess this is why you are here at the investment conference. So we have time for one more question. All right, there's a gentleman all the way at the back. So maybe you need to speak a bit louder. All right, thank you, Professor, for sharing. Actually, right now, I'm quite confused. Should I buy at a high point right now or should I wait until the price goes down? I See, okay, that's a perpetual question. I think for most investors, you think that it's the prices high now and you don't want to be caught out. So as far as I'm concerned, I look at data all the time. We are indeed at a high point right now in our market, but looking at the monetary policies that Singapore have put in in the last 10 years or so, I don't see our prices coming crashing down. The prices will probably come down by the bit, and, uh, but the question is that do you want to wait for it to come down or do you want to enter now? That is really dependent on your buying purpose. I always say that your buying purpose determines your buying action. So it depends on whether you're buying for your own stay or is it for investment, it could be for your children or maybe for yourself for the long term plan. So that is very important. But I want to say that we, I don't see prices really coming down that far. And if it does, you need to understand there will be many other investors like yourself who will all rush in at that point. And you may not get an opportunity to buy something that you like or that you need. So I would say that if you have an opportunity now to buy, now is a good time to actually enter in as long as you are not buying something that is exceedingly high. Right? So I will answer it that way. So there are good opportunities like what I answered the earlier uh, gentlemen, there are good opportunities in the central core region. You should really look at that and go in because prices in the CCR is not as high as what it used to be. So you have a very good opportunity. All right, and uh, I think we have time for only just two questions. They have signaled to me that the refreshments are ready. I heard today is champagne and caviar. So thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. I will see you in the next segment. So goodbye. And as you make your way out, please remember to save some food for me as well.